News 3 at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Julia Thatcher. And I'm Jeff Herndon. The Maui wildfires destroyed over 2,000 structures and have killed at least 115 people. Many survivors of those fires are still in temporary shelters. KSN's Derek Lytle caught up with a former Kansan living in Maui about what they're experiencing almost three weeks after the tragedy. Jeff Julia Benito Rodriguez and his family moved to Maui from Emporia almost five years ago. I spoke to the family earlier this month when they learned they lost everything in the wildfires. Today they told me they're still struggling to find housing. Benito Rodriguez has been working to help others since the fire. In our boats, because the roads were closed, we were running supplies in, in our boats. Uh... And he says the need is great. Necessities like water, laundry detergent, baby formula, all being brought in. We, we've established a network of people uh, that today we just reach out and say, hey, can you guys help us find this? And then we just, you know, run a trip with, you know, a truckload of stuff for, for the little different center. So. He lost his home along with 22 of his co-workers at the Pacific Whale Foundation. He says finding permanent housing has been rough. When and look at a place that it was dilapidated, full apart in, in this little two-bedroom, with no bath inside the house, it, it just literally falling apart. They still wanted three thousand dollars for something that nobody could live in. He says tourism is needed for the local economy to survive, so he wants people to know other parts of Maui are still welcoming visitors. You can't make it an unemployment here. You, you know, you got to have a full-time job. That's why it's so important for tourism, you know, to come and. and and see beautiful Maui, see the local Red Cross volunteers on the ground say finding permanent housing is one of their goals. We are working with government agencies and local partners to ensure that people have a plan. Like you said, you can't stay in a hotel forever. The Red Cross says they plan on helping in the area for at least the next several months. You can find out how you can help by following a link on this story on KSN.com. Here for you, Derek Lytle, KSN News 3. All right, Derek, thank you. You can head over to KSN.com to find a list of all the different organizations that you can donate to to help the survivors of the